What is going on guys, DBG here. In this video we are going to be doing a gameplay with a hidden Galaxy Opal card that you can get for only uh, 60 tokens in NBA 2K19, my team. So 60 tokens I'm going to say is budget because if you're at the diamond tier, which everybody who's played the game since the very start should be at the diamond tier um, just due to locker codes, like the amount, I can guarantee you that if you just entered all the locker codes from the start of the year, you'd be without doubt close to the opal tier maybe onto the opal tier just from the codes with spending no money but basically there was a card release yesterday and it is better than most of the opals it is not better than the two pink diamonds that i really like using um <laughs> gugliata and sabonis however it is better than a lot of the pink diamonds as well i'd say it's better than half the opals and two-thirds of the pink diamonds and it's a diamond for 60 tokens so in terms of value, it is right up there with the best of them. It is a two guard, 95 overall. You guys already know who this guy is, Mo Peterson. And the reason why I'm calling him a Hidden Galaxy Opal, I know his stats aren't 99-99, but he's got 40 intangibles. And if you guys don't know what intangibles is, it is a stat that is literally used to higher and lower over players' overalls. It does not do anything in game. Any tests for intangibles, there's not a big enough sample size to prove that it does anything in game. And trust me, I've heard from some pretty credible sources that it literally does nothing in game. That That's literally the point if it's lower or higher overalls. But he has got intangible rating of 40, and when that is bumped up to a 95, he goes up to a 99 overall. Offensively, he's one of the best cards in the game. A 6'9 2 guard, so he's the tallest 2 guard in the game. He's got 10 all of fame badges, pickpocket corner specialist, mid range Jedi, teardropper. Deep Range Dead Eye and Limitless, Posterizer, Difficult Shots, Catch and Shoot, and Tireless Score. He's got basically all the shooting badges, Hall of Fame. He's 6'9, left handed, money release, 89 post fadeaway, 94 driving and standing left, 95 shot mid, 97 shot three. He has got a 90 driving dunk, 90 contact dunk, 90 ball control, unreal passing stats. He's got a not great shot contest, but he's 6'9, so it'll be fine. He's at 92 steel, which is great though. 90 speed, 88 speed ball, 90 acceleration is unreal. He's at 96 lateral quickness, which is incredible. Although his on-ball defensive IQ is not the best. 96 lateral quickness as well as a high steel rating means he's going to be a good defender as well as the fact that he's tall. So he should be just a beast in game. So I'm going to actually change this lineup up a little bit because this is my actual, the way I actually run the lineup and I want to run more of a defensive team. So we're going to run with T-Mac at the 1. It's T-Mac of Dimer. If he doesn't have Dimer, I'm not going to use him there. Yeah, he's got Dimer. So we got T-Mac at the 1, Mo Peterson at the 2, Scalabrini at the 3, Kareem at the 4, and Robinson at the 5. Off the bench, we've got Ben Sim as the 1, James Worthy, Bob Pettit, Shaq, and Arvita Sabonis. And then last year off the bench, we've got Andre Karolenko, Yao Ming, and Tom Gugliata. So anyway, now we're going to go over the hot zones and release from Mo Peterson. Then we're going to get on to the game. So Mo Peterson has got hot zones everywhere outside the 3-point line, almost everywhere inside the 3. And if you guys have used this guy, you know how OP this card is. He legitimately is one of the most overpowered cards in the game. And, like, he just barely misses. There was literally, there's literally one problem with Mo Peterson. And it's been the problem since his Emerald the start of the year. And in my opinion, the Emerald was the best Emerald in the game. His Ruby is one of the best Ruby 2 guys in the game. But the thing is that, if you guys look, he does step forward a little bit in his jumper. And especially from the corners. He very rarely shoots a corner 3. Because he's got the kind of MB type, uh... I'm going to call it Joel Embiid Syndrome because he's had that for two years where he warps inside. He's either out of bounds or he's inside the three-point line. There's just no corner. And the good thing is with Limitless, there's no. you don't need to risk that. Like You can pull from here. You don't need to risk him um, going inside the three-point line. He's also got just really good off dribble shot three as well. So his leaner is going to be... doesn't get much separation, but if he is moving, it's not going to be the hardest release in the world to time. And he's got a high enough rating that he should hit them. Also... Again, 90 ball control. Me dribbling. I'm not the best dribbler. I'm not a good dribbler at the best of times. So unless I'm... Like normally I'm a reaction dribbler. A lot of time I can react to what a, def a defender is doing. And dribble relatively effectively. But I'm not going to be a dribble god or anything. But yeah, so now let's just scream on three. And... Now let's get on to the game. Okay, so we are playing against LeBron James, Julius Irving, Melo, Hakeem, and Yao Ming. So we're playing as a really nice squad here. Okay, this guy's all fallen. If I can connect, I'm good. Back to basket. I was meant to be a pull up. It doesn't matter. He goes to the free throw line. That's all good. Let's see what his free throw rating's like. Okay, release is good. 97 rating. Not gonna miss very many. 
And sorry again if something sounds, or if you can guys, well, if you guys can hear a bit of background noise, my uh, laptop right now sounds like a jet engine. The one that I'm using to play the game on. There we go. Let's get it to him. Pull it from mid. Let's go. 4 0 for um, Mo Peterson versus our entire team. I'm just hoping this guy doesn't rage quit because it took me 10 minutes to find a game on PC. He's not the best. Stop. For three, green. Let's go. Seven points from. That was the first three pointer, in a three pointer of the game. Not shooting the best percentage, but I have taken a lot of bad shots so far. Okay, we connected off the screen lightly, knocked it down. Should have probably pulled there, but leaner, good shot. Let's go, he has got, ooh, he's got the OP takeover of uh, Shark, Shark Creator. Once we connect, we're good. That's in, every single time. Limitless fadeaway, leaning three, let's go. He's now starting to get into it. Missed his first couple of shots, but has now hit three three-pointers in a row. And he gets the block on Karolenko. Let's go. This guy cannot buy a bucket right now. Maybe that's deep. Probably not with his takeover. Mo Peterson has now got 18 points in the first four minutes. Toss it up to Kareem. Easy dunk. Let's go. If they're going to double, I'm going to pass it. I'm not just going to shoot with one player every single time. Although that tactic seems to be working quite well with 18 points. Make that five threes. Let's go. And has he forced it? He may force the first quarter. Oh, no, he hasn't. Pull up. Good shot worthy. Let's go. Okay, he's not guarding that. That's a full white. Oh, that's a bad miss. Come on, I thought that would have been green. That's a bad shot to give up. He's up base 11. Come on. Of all people I should know what base 11 can do, considering... And I run like half my team with base 11. Let's go. Three right back at them with Peterson, though. And he's got a blow by. Was not meant to shoot that shot. That was meant to be a layup or dunk. But he's an attempt at one. To the basket. Mo Peterson with the dunk. The defense, lads. With the wordy. Three. Knocks it down. It leads back to 10. That was a big one there. Because the score there, they could have brought it back to four points. That's dumb. That is so dumb. Stop letting him hit me with trail cheese. It's like the third or fourth time he's done that. Shaq for three. From a little bit deep. He hits it. Let's go. Okay, that's open. That's a leaner. And that's two points. That is open. A little bit of a lag spike. But it doesn't matter. He still hits it anyway. It's 33 points now from O. Peterson. And we are letting LeBron run a straight line and dunk on us. Like, thank God we have a little bit of a cushion. Because the way I'm playing... If I'd started off the game the way I'm playing right now, not a chance I'd be in the position I'm in right now with any sort of lead. Fade away. Green. Good shot, Peterson. And the dreaded first shot after takeover as well, which is the hardest shot to hit in my team. Fall up. Good shot. Let's go. Oh, man. We, are cho we choked this game away. Actually, no, to be fair, we've been playing badly, but this guy's nowhere near as bad as he looked at the start of the game. Let's go, Shaq. Three ball, full white, wide open, Sabonis knocks it down. Good defense, Sabonis. One more, James Worthy, right in there for the dunk, back to a nine-point game. Not a chance. There's no contest on that at all. Oh my god, Sabonis just missed that one. Great rebound and put back there by Simmons, but that was a terrible miss. Three ball. A little bit of a lag spike. Again, it doesn't matter. That's happened twice and he's nailed it both times. That would spin. Pull up from mid. Or take the two really long step Euro step type thing. That'll do as well, I guess. Wide open for three. Full white. Right up off the floor, cuts right at the three, and nails it. Hey, okay, this should be an easy dunk. Right on the break, and one. Let's go. This is a near 50-point game, and this isn't against a team of terrible players. This is a near 50-point game against some of the best Opals in the game, and a pretty much full Opal and Pink Diamond team. 
So Mo Pete had 48 points, shot a little bit under 50% from the field and 50% from three. Second half, not the best. However, first half, 10 of 19, 7 of 11 in the first quarter, 5 of 9 of 3, which is crazy. Because I think he was, I won't say he was 8 of 12 to going 0 for 4 to start the game. He was absolutely killing it in the first quarter. But it kind of slowed down after that. But still, 48 points on not terrible shooting isn't bad. So anyway, that's the video. Mo Pete. Yeah, I took a lot of bad shots at him, but it doesn't matter, like, that didn't, like, take away from how good this card is. This card is absolutely fantastic in my team, and easily a top three reward after all of the Opals, after, obviously, Gigliata and Sabonis, who I've mentioned non-stop in videos today. But anyway, yeah, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.